In this clip, we're about to clicker train some camels. This is the first time they're being introduced to this clicker training. So the first task is to get them to associate the sound of the word click with the treats. The treats we're using are apple bits, and it turned out these weren't very popular. The female, here to the left, is eating them. However, she's not terribly eager, and the male beside her is not wanting to have them at all. Our long-time goal in training these camels will be to get them to move around by leading them with the target and also to get them to back up a little bit and be a bit more civilized when people are around them then because the male here can be a bit crowdy and pushy and even bite sometimes. However, that is more the long term. For now, today, we're just trying to get them introduced as well as teaching the zookeepers how to do this. Since these are big animals, we want to start with something we can control from the beginning. So we're using a dish brush to, as a target. And so the first task is, I show her the dish brush, or the, all the camels, but she's the only one right now interested. So I'm showing the dish brush, and if she looks at it, I say the word click, and I give her a treat. And she's of course now basically going for the hand. So, but that's a start. I get her to at least try something and approach it and hopefully she'll start associating the sound of the word click with the treat. I move over to the other side in order to see if I can get the male more involved and it does get a bit curious but he's still not very interested in the apple. So I go back to the first place and concentrate on her instead. Since the camel is obviously going for the hand and not the dish brush, I move the position of the dish brush so that it's easier for her to hit the brush instead of my hand. And the purpose of this is to teach her not to crowd on people and to go after our hands, but to really understand the target. The reason we're using just a dish brush is that the soup keeper always brings along dish brushes and they have them in the belt because they use these to clean the water troughs and the feed food troughs of the animals. So this is something they all care with them all the time, so it's kind of a practical tool for them to use as a target. It's also something that most people that come and visit the zoo are very likely not to have with them, so the no risk there of the animals getting confused. Since none of the other camels seem to be interested in the apples, the zookeepers go and get some pellets, and the whole scene changes. Now the male, as well as the rest of the herd, gets very, very eager. Now we suddenly got the opposite problem. Instead of one being slightly interested, the whole herd came in and they start to push on each other and fight to get to the food. So we go to the outside and start spreading ourselves around a little bit. So everybody is now participating in the clicker training. With a new treat, it turns out that clicker training was quite easy for the male camel as well. Now we seem to be gotten started with all the camels. From now on, the zookeepers will start using this clicker sound in conjunction with feeding and other things that the animals really like doing. So in the next clip, we'll start showing when we're starting the camels doing some actual tasks. As the training continues, we will continue to go and film them and show you the progress. So stay tuned for more clicker training on zoo animals. Meanwhile, you can check out all the video clips I have on other animals on www.ellenofstad.com.